Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Celine here. If you haven't been here before, definitely remember to click that subscribe button because I don't want you to miss out on any of the crazy stories and makeup tips I have for you. Oh yeah. Yes, I really do talk like this in real life. People say it's animated. Today's tutorial is all about getting this sleeked back kind of hair all day long. This look is super, super duper simple to do. It's actually my go-to look when I am not in the mood to style my hair, but I still have to go out into public. I can't go out with my bed hair because my bed hair is just like, it's nutty. I kind of miss my long hair because I could wake up, brush it and go. Where with the short hair is just wild, even when I haven't had a wild time. Why don't we get into this tutorial? As you can see, my hair is crazy. This is the problem with short hair. Every morning I wake up, it looks like this. I don't know what the fuck to do with it. The look I'm sharing with you guys today is definitely a go-to hairstyle for when I'm lazy AF. It also looks pretty badass, so I thought I'd share it with you. Let's get into this sleek looking hairdo. The first thing that you're gonna need is some water. I got this container at the dollar store, super cheap. Good old water from the tap. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna spray your hair. First, I'm gonna get a towel to keep my body dry. One second here. There we go. Now you can't see my cleavage. And then everyone exited from this video. I got a towel around the body. Now, if I'm like in some PJs or something and I don't really care about what I'm wearing, I don't really put a towel on because I've got my sexy yellow <laughs> dress on. I'm gonna protect it. I'm gonna go in with some water. We're just gonna spray the whole hair until it's nice and damp. Here we go. I wonder what went wrong today, eh? Why do I feel like I that should do her. Dry up the back a little bit so it doesn't drip down my yellow dress. Woo, goodbye towel. Just gonna go ahead and brush it out. The way I like to do it is I brush from the front and you slick it back. Like so. Lingo. Lingo between the world. On to the next part. Step two, we're gonna go in with some hair gel. This is just Garnier's hair gel. This is called Survivor, and they come in different levels of strength, by the way. I got mine in the ultimate level of 06, which I believe is the highest one. Oh my gosh, I've had this for a while, so it's looking a little bit gnarly. <laughs> Maybe I should clean that out. Ew, it's just dried up gel. I'll clean up on my own time, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put some in your hands like this. Whoa. I just do a bit at a time. That way I don't overdo it in my hair. This is how much I have so far. I know it's kind of hard to see, but what? Almost lost it. Gonna smush it around in your hands like this. I like to start at the roots at the front and start to pat it back like this. And now it's gonna get in between your fingers, which I know doesn't feel very sexy, but just take that and pull it through your hair. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more until I cover the head. Just gonna run it all the way down to the ends of your hair. To say, eh, to say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. And you'll get a feel for what feels right in your hair. I have short hair, but I do like to go in with quite a bit because for this look, I like it to stay all day long. I'll show you how I do that. Just gonna clean my hands off super quick here. Can't wait for my hair to grow. Probably just put my extensions in. I am such a girl sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and brush out the dampness and the gel that I have just put in my hair. And we're gonna do the same technique from the top, slick it back. Cause I'm looking for that very sleek looking hair. Almost like it's constantly wet, but it's not. Sleek it back. Everything is I'm gonna give you guys a little twirly twirl so you can see what it's looking like. Oh, Then I like to go in with a brush that's more dense, as you can see. This way, it's gonna make it really smooth. Again, from the front, and just push it back so it's smooth. I like to go in with this brush first because when you put the gel in, it is a lot tougher to brush it through with such a dense brush like this. These are really tough bristles where this one's more open. If you do feel like it's tough or it's getting a little tangly, just take this one and push it back. Then I like to use this one to really smooth it out. Make sure you find the placing of where you want that hair to really sit before we go in with step three. For me, I like to push it right up against my ear and go behind. Ooh. 
Oh my god, there's hairs. You know you get a hair in your face, but you don't know where it's coming from? You're like, where is that damn hair? All right, let's go into the next step. Step three, hairspray. I have done this where it was just like a flexible hold kind of hairspray that won't hold it all day, especially in the front. What I'm using today here is the Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray 24 Extreme Hold. This thing is amazing. And I'm almost out too, which is really disappointing. The price is also really good. I just got it at a Walmart and it was like less than five bucks, I'm pretty sure. Super love, been using it for years, yes. Now there is one one downfall to this hairspray that I will tell you. And it's not even really a downfall, it's more of a personal preference. When it's called instant freeze, your hair freezes. It will be like, it's gonna stay. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Just remember to make sure everything's smoothed out before you do this process because once you start spraying, that's where it's staying. <laughs> I like to start spraying at the top part because that's the part that you really wanna make sure it stays stiff. You want everything to stay stiff, but this part here, if you don't freeze it, it's just gonna like move up and it's gonna look weird. I like it to be very smooth against my head. My head, my hair's on my head. Yeah, you guys must think I'm nuts the way I explain things sometimes. Let's spray at the top part, okay? So we're just gonna spray, spray, spray. Before I keep going into the back, I like to make sure that this is all smoothened out. So you go back in with your really coarse brush that you have and just smooth it back. There we go. So I have sprayed her down. I'm gonna let it dry a bit so I can show you what it looks like when it's really rock solid. One little tip I'm gonna throw in here, guys, is if you feel like you have stupid little flyaways, especially around the edges that frames the face, I like to use a toothbrush, a clean one, not one from your mouth. I mean, if you do, I won't judge you. I might judge you a little. You might get toothpaste in your hair. It's your life. You just take your toothbrush, you take some of that same hairspray, the instant freeze, just a little and you just take it, you find those flyaways and you just bring it in so that it's all nice and smooth because you don't want some random little stupid flyaways while you're trying to go for this sleek badass boss bitch look. That was a sentence. So this is what the hair looks like after it has dried right up. It still looks wet, you know what I mean? But it's stiff. It's gonna stay in place, which is really nice. Again, this is my go-to look when I'm desperate and like in a hurry, but it looks pretty fashionable. The first time I did it, I was really blonde. You should have heard the nicknames I got. See, what were the nicknames I got at work? I got, I got Malfo Draco. <laughs> from Harry Potter. They kept calling me one of these 80s singers. I can't think of her name right now. I don't know, but they showed me pictures and I was like, yeah, I get it. I had people calling me the Joker. <laughs> Oh, those coworkers are so creative. Some of them I didn't even think of. I'm like, right on. <laughs> you know, the hair definitely gets attention. They did like the hair. It's just easy to make fun of me because I'm too nice. Thank you for all the support for everyone that's been sticking around and watching this journey of YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye, bitches. Bye, 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 bye.